So this is one of the uh, really cool AI tools that I discovered this week. And I think it's really, really amazing because it's actually what I've wanted for quite some time, all comprehensively in a tool. And I'm going to be giving you guys a guide because I've recently done some experiments with this. And I, I don't even know these guys, but the product is really good. So essentially what we have here is a basically personal AI system that allows you to take notes in a way that's really effective. So pretty much what you can do, it says record ideas and new family moments, meetings, podcasts, takeaways, pretty much anything. And it, and it says, we recommend capturing your raw thoughts as freely as often as you can in a world where AI can organize surface your notes when you need them. One should believe for maximized input. And then essentially what you can do is you can ask your AI to review past notes. It has a perfect memory. So I'm guessing they're using some kind of technology with this. And then you can create a summary, to-do list, a blog post and more using your notes. And it's got, you know, a million different suggestions. So all I want to do is let's say I just wanted to brainstorm. So let's say for the channel, it, I would be like, okay, so um, one of the things I've been thinking about for my channel is I want to I do a bullet point list of um, some things I've been thinking about my channel. So I want to do more really cool tutorials and in-depth tutorials on how to install local language models, um, certain things, you know, I've been thinking about making some tutorials on, you know, how to do certain designs with AI. I've also been thinking about um, how I can, you know, manage my time more effectively with AI. And then you just put done. And then essentially it creates a transcript from your voice note. Now, this isn't the coolest part because there are a million different things that you can do here, but there are two cool things that I really, really like about this. Okay. One of the things is that, you know, you're going to have all of this data stored here in a really cool user interface. Like this user interface is so clean. And then what you can do is you can ask the AI, um, you know, different questions about your own data. So right now it's probably using GPT 3.5, which means that it's not that good, but you know, you can actually uh, upgrade to, um, the, the, the better models, which is GPT-4 Turbo and Claude Opus, which are just, just incredibly better. But what you can do, as you can see right here, is that, you know, you can have custom questions, but I can ask it, okay, a question. It can either come up with a question for you or essentially what you can do, click this button right here and then you can click Ask My AI. And then it says, I'm your personal AI. What would you like to ask about your notes? And then um, I can say, can you revisit my last week? Did I mention anything to do last week? And the reason this is so cool is because what you can also do is you can check right here and this is, it's got the same kind of user interface as like GitHub, but I really like this. You can see um, all the notes you've made over time. So this is something that where you can see, like if you're, you know, driving or something, you just want to make a quick note, you just want to add it there. This is going to be something that's really cool. Now, I do think personalization is going to be coming in GPT-5, but I think having a personal AI system where you can just literally uh, say what's in your mind, then you can ask your AI, um, review my last week. And then it's going to be able to tell you exactly what went on in your week and says last week you considered enhancing your channel week in-depth tutorials on installing local language models creating designs yada 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 um and then that's essentially what you did so and of course you can click create you can create uh you know list of main points um and then you can choose a note and be like okay i want you to list the main points from this note and then the user interface is gonna make it super super you know simple and then you can export this as well so you can just simply export this you can create a to-do list from here and then, so based on the things that you've, you've talked about, uh, it can give you like business ideas. So this is really cool. So you can just talk about some brainstorms and business ideas and things that you want to do. And then you can see now we've got like a to-do list here. So I think this is really cool for those of you who are creative, for those of you who might be business managers, for those of you who might be just trying to figure out what kind of things um, to do and just organize your thoughts, especially if maybe like you're reading a book, let's say you're reading a book and you don't want to write everything down. I know that I read a lot of books. What I'm going to start doing is I'm probably going to start making notes. I'm going to be just reading uh, about certain books. I'm going to write them down and then I'm going to just get bullet points from the books and export them all to a document. So I think once they add that, that would be really cool. You can make different chats. You can review different things. It can be like, what did I read about last week? What did I do this about last week? So um, yeah, I think this is really cool. You can create a tweet as well. You know, we can do um, from one note or whatever. Um, and then the AI is writing your tweet and then it says the different diving deep into the world of AI. And I could just copy that, um, and then do that. So I think this is really cool. You can just record a note. Like I said, if you upgrade, you're going to be able to get, um, you know, uh, limitless recording instead of a one minute note. And this is really good because it allows you to ramble for hours, uh, which is good because a lot of the times when you have those really cool ideas and you don't have a pen and paper to write it down, it's really cool to just be able to ramble and stuff like that. So this is a beginner tutorial. I think this software I think it will take off provided that GPT-5 doesn't completely nuke it because I know that GPT-5 is going to come out with some personalization as Sam Altman said, but it's simple, it's it's effective and I, and I really, really like it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial.